uh, in last session we have seen how to make a battery pack in 3d model for a bicycle uh, even for two wheelers using a uh, different types of uh, cell holder in honeycomb structure in radiator structure with the thickness of 1.2 mm so which we have seen we can make it in you know, a like five minutes two minutes uh, in uh, like a simple process using uh, different tools which here you can see we have already explained about this so uh, today we are going to learn how to form a 3d modeling for battery pack for any car so right now we have seen there are so many cars uh, being used in india market uh, manufactured in india for example tata uh, mahindra uh, nexons even for mg zs ev and uh, for Volkswagen, Audi, there are so many uh, models which are coming in uh, Indian market as well as uh, there are already in a uh, global market like Tesla. Those are mostly using us uh, lithium ion cells, uh, but especially Tesla goes for uh, lithium phosphate cells in cylindrical. Uh, but rather than other uh, players are using in a prismatic form. So we have seen the prismatic uh, types of cell, how it looks, the construction and uh, their sizes uh, available in a different, uh, uh, different specification with respect to the uh, required capacity. So today we'll uh, learn designing pack for a Volkswagen ID3 model, uh, which uses 12 uh, different modules of a lithium ion pack, consist of a uh, prismatic cells. So uh, here we go. So uh, the, while designing a battery pack, we have to uh, make one uh, base housing. So uh, we basically place the battery packs inside a, a platform where uh, the seat and all the food we places. So we call it a platform battery pack. So specially designed for uh, Volkswagen. So first we'll, uh, man, uh, we'll get a housing. One is a bottom housing and one is a top housing. We'll make a group of it. So specially uh, while talking about uh, four wheeler, uh, mostly uh, people prefer aluminum casing for heat dissipation and we can even provide a fence to that and the housing would be made up of metal so we are to absorb the shock and resist uh, higher uh, I mean uh, uh, bad road conditions right now in India we have seen I mean uh, what kind of road we see so according to that we have to uh, manufacture a housing which will be the uh, lower, lower housing part will be the attached to the uh, chassis of our uh, vehicle. So uh, here you can see uh, we are making it uh, a different uh, placing for uh, our battery pack, so which can, which will be uh, completely fit into it, and this uh, would be uh, getting done by molding. So uh, this uh, this software is very user friendly. We can directly uh, take uh, dimensions and uh, draw the half circle, arc, even a rectangle, and we can array it in using uh, a different command. For example, if you want to uh, take the same component into a multiple form, you can use uh, X uh, command. So it will replicate into multiple time. We call it a multiplication. So uh, here you can see there uh, we have drawn uh, using and this middle part is the. Uh, Placement housing where we'll keep all the models inside it. Those can be determined by using this design. So now, uh, as we have seen, we have to make it uh, according to the available size of the cell, which are already in the market. So we'll directly uh, pull it out. So we'll get a structure like this. Yeah, so here you can see we have pulled it out. Using this extrude command. It's easy to pull uh, out and uh, uh, push uh, by selecting a given space. Yeah, so here it is, the result of our design. 
So this is the housing for a battery pack uh, mounting. Uh, we can mount a cell over here the, inside this uh, complete casing. Uh, I'm, I'm showing you how to do that. And this is the lower part of a casing. So this is a, a standard cell available in the market, uh, prismatic cell. Uh, we can see here it has a terminal uh, positive and negative. So uh, as we have seen, battery pack is nothing but a uh, combination of multiple cell into a series and uh, panel. So uh, it can run for vehicle uh, in two wheeler, four wheeler. So this IDQ has a 402 volt output voltage. So we we'll, uh, connect this type of multiple cell in uh, parallel. So we'll get uh, AH capacity. So depend on us, I mean, how much capacity we require, for example, 500, uh, 700 kilometer, up to us. So right now in market, there are three variants in 300, 700, even for uh, 550 kilometers available. So uh, we can form using a parallel connection. We can get a uh, capacity. So here you can see, we have to place the different cell in the housing. So we'll get the actual idea how much space is available. So see, so we'll uh, place the same type of cell in our uh, like the placement like this. So we'll get uh, output voltage uh, 402 volt for the same battery pack. Here you can see. So this is like here a one, two, three, four, five, six cell cell in us one side and other six in other side. So the placement is up to us. Like as I was already sure, told you, uh, it depend on the size available in the back vehicle. So right now in this car we have this type of size. We uh, place it in the platform. We'll show it in uh, SketchUp how it will be placed. So that's why we designed like this. So we connect these cells in parallel. So we'll get a uh, required uh, capacity. So there will be some extra components like uh, connecting bus bar, uh, cooling system, uh, even uh, like circulation, air circulation can be carried out. So that's why we have to uh, put some space in between each and every cell so we can uh, add those uh, remaining accessories while making a complete detailed drawing or making a complete uh, vehicle battery pack. So here is the complete assembly. So later on, the uh, last part is upper housing. Here we can see when the battery pack is ready with the 12 uh, cell uh, prismatic cell is placed in it. This is the battery housing. This is the lower housing. Uh, this is specially made up of aluminum in molding uh, for heat dissipation and uh, the material quality. And uh, the last part is nothing but the upper housing, which will uh, completely pack this, uh, close this pack. And here there will be some uh, mounting uh, uh, provision will be given so we can fix this uh, housing on the uh, vehicle chassis it depends on your vehicle chassis is where is sometime we uh, use it a uh, complete fixtures yeah. so this is the final output this is how this battery pack will look like upper housing battery pack battery housing and the body support to uh, hold the complete battery pack so we have seen we have we can make it within uh, like uh, minutes using this software if you have all the uh, inputs like the size of the what type of cells we are going to use what type of material we are going to select so we'll get a, a primary idea while making a uh, complete designing the actual battery pack so that's why this uh, primary 3d modeling is very important in designing a battery pack so now we'll uh, go through the actual tour of the software yeah so we have seen how to make this battery pack using a uh, SketchUp as a 3D model tool. This is the complete uh, ready battery pack, which will be placed in the vehicle. We'll show you how to do it. So we have uh, taken this uh, model, Volkswagen ID3. Here you can see. Yeah. The battery pack is placed at the platform. We can see it here. And the upper housing will become here and the remaining parts like motor controller will go this side and a cooling system. So especially while making a battery pack, we have to go through this modeling. So we'll get to know how actually it will look, how actually it will fit, how much space will be available. And then after we can go for the final decision of making a battery pack. So that's why these tools are very user friendly. You can drag uh, directly drag and drop the things using these tools. We have already explained it, uh, how to uh, move the things, how to directly like this. You can even extrude using uh, this tool. Here you can see, I can show you the 
demo you have to edit the group and you can directly scale it up if you want to change the size if you want to again extrude it you have to select a space a specific face area where you want to pull it here you can see you can pull it you can drop it to increase the height so that's why this tool is uh, widely used in a uh, many organization for making not only for a battery pack for many other uh, things you can uh, use it it has a trial phase for 30 days even uh, you can get a license approved so yeah this is the final design and how it will look uh, a final battery pack for a car thank you